Hey guys, we're back. It's been a while, but I'm gonna bring you a quick fix for those sharp nets we have at home. So what we're gonna need are like um, just some files, not you know, not anything really too big. Just a small file or even some sandpaper right here, which I have also put on a stick to make things easier. Now we we want to fix these little nuts that occasionally have little sharp edges. Now these edges might you know tear up your wrist or even like cut up some of your uniforms right around where you hold it when you do any kind of sword flowers. Now we're not really going to need a giant file like this with big teeth. We're going to need a smaller file. Something like this, well this one's a little too big, but what really matters isn't the file size, but the teeth size. The teeth size are what matter in, you know, what cuts up the little bits off your nut or whatever material you're filing. Now I prefer using a little small one like this because the texture is more, it's a little closer to sandpaper so it's not too rough on things. I mean, we can also use sandpaper and attach it to a dowel to make things a little easier, get those close angles. Now of the three tools, we're just going to need two of them, which is the sandpaper and the file. We're going to first start with the file, and I started with this one because I prefer it. It's not too sharp, so I can't overdo my piece too much. The point here is to just get off these little tiny edges right here, on the top and the bottom. These are the main culprit of what, like, cuts us and sometimes um, tears up a uniform when we're doing sword spins, or even, like, you know, snags on our clothes. So we'll just, like, file those off. Make sure to get the bottom too, because while they seem unimportant, they actually can get a little pointed and snag on things. Make sure to feel the sides to see if they're rough or not, because sometimes those also can snag. It's a little easier to take those parts off with sandpaper because of the large surface of it. So we'll just take a sandpaper and do it by hand, smoothing it out as well as taking off the little roughness we might get from the file. You want to use a sandpaper that's around 300 grit, and if you want to make it extra smooth, you can also continue doing the sanding with a much finer grit. Now you can also do the whole entire process with just sandpaper. All you gotta do is take the sandpaper, put it on a hard surface, take your nut and just start sanding it. You can take out the edges as well as those flat surfaces that might not be so flat and smooth them out slowly. Make sure not to take off too much material. Now for those parts that are hard to get to, you want to take it to an edge of a table. Preferably a sharp edge, not like this one. It made it a little difficult for me. So you can also take a stick and just put sandpaper on it. All you need is a sandpaper, a stapler, and just jam it on a stick. And now you got a little tool to just take off the sharp edges as well as kind of like a little file thing. Now, you can get the outer edges and the inner ones much easier. And it's, well, you basically just made a file, so yeah, it's good to have, it's cheap and it works. All right, guys, and that is it for this quick fix of the nut of a sword. Now this just solved this really annoying issue that some people have, or some of you guys might have actually, with um, you know, the sword's nut, sharpness, snagging on your clothes, pulling a little string and making it just look kind of ugly in your clothes. Now this can also happen to your sword flags or even your sword tassel. And um, when you sand it down and smooth it out, everything should be just fine. Now I generally recommend that you guys at least have a small file, a piece of sandpaper, or even a stick to put the sandpaper on. That way you can also remove any sharp edges you'll find on your sword from usage or you know on the guard or the pommel or even just um, the handle of the sword so it's good to have a piece of sandpaper at least. Now I know it's been a long time since our last video but me and Eric have been pretty busy lately but still starting around now we're gonna try to put out more videos and hopefully we'll get out more good information for you guys to know to help you guys out in the wushu world fix things maybe know about the shoes and equipment and maybe we'll put out some tutorials. Let us know what you guys think about that. Remember to subscribe We'll see you next video. I gotta make this work table look good, unlike my real work table. Glorious.